Okay, here we have a multimodal uh, lane balance for lane 58 here. Now let's say that in the morning you come in and you suddenly find that you, instead of having seven, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven P stations here. You now only have access to five stations. So now you have to change the entire balance uh, for five stations for each of the models. So how can you do that? So what you would do is pick your first one, in this case, the uh, this one on the left here, double click. And we can come to our summary and we can say balance. And now we have to run with five operators. And click on the balance, click on the detail, click on the save. Now you, would, of course, would have to look and make sure this is all going to be able to work. But let's assume that it was. And then you double click again. And you can see what it's done. It's now created an operator one, which is really our old mold parts. So it's moved that one option in there. And I've only got five of these. You can see one, two, three, four, five. There's none left for the last two stations out here which is a handle assembly and insert components. So now we do the same for the second model here. Double click, go to balance. We select the parameters, five, balance, details, save. It puts it into five. We double click. And now you can see we get these two. And now we do it for the third model. And we go to balance and we can run with five operators again. And we double click. And now we get three over here. You can see we've got the uh, the yellow, light yellowy color, the green and the blue. Now we can see here operator one. So it's creating these new stations for you, the four or five operators. And it's taking the work. The old ones still exist in here because there's still one model there. But if I double click on this and I do the same for this, the balance with five operators. And I double click. And you go back here, you can see it's eliminated all the other ones now. So now we're just down to the five stations that we were looking for. So this gives you a very good example of how you can use the multi-line balance to quickly see the effect of changing something on an entire process. Now this was a very simple example using the number of operators. But if you double click here and you go to your balance, remember you can also change it by production. How much production do you require for per hour? Or more likely, a very common one with What's the tack time you want to be working with? So if a new demand comes through and you need to raise your capacity, you would need to reduce your tack time. So this allows you to do this very rapidly for all the models you have going down the line. So again, this is an excellent tool to let you quickly rebalance your entire line based upon the model combinations that's going down. Other things we see happening is perhaps if you get two units of the same product going down one after the other, that can create a bottleneck. And this would also allow you to be able to remove those kind of limitations on your process.